Hey guys, it's me, same back for another video, anime related video, so today, if you can't tell by the title, we're going to be talk discussing why My Hero Academia is probably the best anime out there, if not ever, but that's a huge understatement, but we're going to be, I'm going to give, I'm going to be giving my reasons as to why My Hero Academia is one of the most amazing anime that's come out so far and why it's beating out other animes like Dragon Ball or Naruto, Boruto, Attack on Titan or Tokyo Go. Why? Because there's so many reasons I'm about to dive deep into this video so watch out and let's go. Oh, and fair warning for you guys, I'm going to try to be as neutral, unbiased as possible. Sorry if I'm a little bit biased towards this anime or this other anime, but that's just me. I'm going to try to be in the middle and not be biased as possible. Okay, with that being said, let's get started. So, one of the main reasons My Hero Academia is super popular is because the narrative. The story-wise, it's really simple and really good and you can easily understand it through because the main one of the main characters is oh my he's basically the superman of that world i discussed in a separate video right here uh, he's pretty much a superman and he's the greatest hero and the main story of my hero academia is basically striving to be the best hero there is of the world and midoriya being one of the main characters he's striving to be that he eventually accomplishes it in the future but right now this is the story of how he rose from the bottom to be at the greatest basically goat <laughs> but it's such a simple narrative and it works really good unlike other stories they're super complicated like one piece is kind of all over the place firstly i never watch one piece i try to it's a bit complicated i you have some guy fighting pi i don't know it's a, it's a bit of a mess that show in my opinion Sorry if I'm biased, but that shows a bit of a mess. And with Dragon Ball, it does have a story, but it's mostly about fighting. It's narrative, it's just fighting, seeing who's the strongest. I'm this guy, I'm stronger than you. No, I'm stronger. That's pretty much Dragon Ball. Uh, with My Hero Academia, the narrative is just right there. It will t one, way, one episode will tell you, oh no, they're going shopping. Next episode, they're going to save people. The narrative is just simple, easy to follow, which is why people like My Hero Academia. Story-wise, it is really good. All the characters are fleshed out. Even the ones you hate, they have a good background to it. And so that's one of the main reasons My Hero Academia is like really good. Because story-wise, it's really easy to follow. For example, I, my brother jumped into it like just watching one clip. And they instantly understood what it meant because you didn't have to follow like several episodes or watch previous seasons to understand it. You can literally just watch one episode and you'll understand the main focus of the show. Like, oh no, we're trying to save this guy. But it does in a like interesting yet simple way, you like new viewers can understand, which is why it's brilliant. Okay, another reason, the second reason why My Hero Academia is like super interesting and like really cool show to watch is characters. Character development is like honestly really good. Like you get characters for like even the ones you don't even know. Like the principal, uh, this dude, I forgot his name, Nezu. I think that's his name. I can't remember off the top of my head. But him and Eyes Wild, you get really great character backgrounds and character narratives for them. You get like a story for them each episode really fleshes out like each character even from each season the new seasons like okay that made no sense what i said but like you get what i mean season previous seasons and new seasons they all flesh out all the characters new and old especially if you read the manga there's so so many characters to be explored and the character designs are just beautiful like everything is pretty done well like uh, Bakugo, he's a really fleshed out character even if you guys hate him or love him he's a really good character he's been written well to the point where people think he's an asshole either they like him or they don't personally i despise despise this character it's because he's so cocky and i don't know for me it, i just don't like his character that's something i don't like but other people really love his character because they get attached to him and they see a part of him and them they see a part of themselves in bakugo but personally i don't like him i prefer more todoroki or midoriya because they're both relatable characters they struggle they they struggle to grow up trying to be, figure out who they are and it's like really easy to understand other characters such as all my they're this big muscular dude like who's the best people see that and they're like huh that's pretty cool like all the characters are super fleshed out including that little pervy guy 
It's like a knockoff Masaroshi. I forgot what his name is. Uh, Breda. That grape juice dude. This dude. I can't remember his name. But yeah, there's a lot of flesh side characters. Even people like we don't care about. We like them, especially the villains. Like all the villains have great backstory. Some of them might not have as great as the others, but we, the villains are super fleshed out. You understand why they do what they do, which is really good compared to other shows like Dragon Ball. I'm, I'm not trying to bash both of them because they're both great shows, but compared to Dragon Ball, like Doctor Zero, he just hates Goku. He, he wants to defeat him because he pissed them off. But I, what kind of backstory is that? We never got. Any backstory to Dr. Jiro. I'm using that as an example because we never got any backstory just because he defeated the Red Ribbon Army and that's the reason for him to hate him, which is not really great character motivation, at least in my opinion, but we probably could have gone maybe an extra episode discussing who Dr. Jiro was. Like, just dive deep more into him. Or the androids history. They have good chemistry and they're really great characters, but if we could dive deep in their past it would be amazing but that's just me personally it's really cool to it's better to keep characters mysterious and like interesting than giving all the knowledge open but yeah but with my hair academia it's so so interesting all the characters are fleshed out like i said you get from all the girls and like uraka and sue you got them fleshed out. You get to know their backgrounds, their motivations. Bakugo, you get to know his motivation. He does it despises Deku, but he wants to be better than him. And Todoroki, he just wants to be better than his father. Like, all the characters are super fleshed out. And I really, really like that. Which is why a lot of people praise, praise My Hero Academia for its character development. And its amazing designs. Because, honestly, it's super cool. Okay, so one of the third reason, one another reason, which is the third reason why my hair academia is super popular, is because the world it's set in and the how surreal it feels. Because the world it's based around in is around superheroes. We all know that they call powers quirks, which is honestly really unique name for calling them. Instead of superpowers, they call them quirks, which is super cool and like. It doesn't make superpowers like feel overused. It gives them something fresh and brand new. Like All Might, we've probably seen a thousand iterations of characters like him, overpowered characters, but he's an overpowered character done right. If you guys understand, like we all relate to All Might. We know his struggle. If you've seen the latest episode of My Hero Academia, I know a ton of people who cried, including myself, because it's such, such a good show, and we can honestly relate to him. The world feels surreal. Like, imagine My Hero Academia existed in real life. All these things would happen. This is how we would feel. Like, we can relate to those characters, and that's why My Hero Academia is interesting. The world it's based in is based in our real world. Yes, throwing some fiction, and poof. My Hair Academia exists. Like, that's why a lot of people feel My Hair Academia is like pretty amazing because it feels surreal. You can genuinely feel like you're there, like you're there watching all my, or like you're there sitting next to Deku in his classroom. Like, say you're in the classroom, you're watching My Hair, my hair Academia, and you're like, huh, that feels interesting. Like, you feel like My Hair Academia is right there with you. I feel like it's part of me because all the characters, like honestly, feel like they could be my friends because we could get along with them and all that kind of stuff. The world feels surreal. It's interesting. Like the history of My Hero Academia is interesting. It was based around Marvel Comics. The creator, I forget his name, but he based it around Marvel Comics and Japanese anime and boom, he made something that is similar to One Punch Man, but not really. It's like surreal like the world feels surreal and we honestly I don't know it's just interesting I can't really explain why my hair academia is so like attached to me but it's just really cool concept taking all real world insert uh, superheroes and a bit of Japanese anime and that's what you get it's super interesting so the last and fourth final reason why my Hero Academia could be and is possibly one of the best animes. It's because it's just fun, thrilling, exciting. Like you get so much emotion from watching it. Compared to other animes like Attack on Titan or Tokyo Go, they're pretty, pretty dark animes. And like dark gritty. Like you feel really depressed from watching it and you're like, damn, what just happened? Like, what? It's pretty much the sense you get when watching those shows. You feel kind of depressed, like, damn, that happened. But with My Hero Academia, you can jump right into it and feel really good about yourself. Be like, huh, 
That, that was pretty cool. I can jump, I can watch that and feel better about myself. Like, whenever I watch an episode, I feel generally happy and, like, a bunch of emotions because it just rushes my adrenaline and, like, it makes me feel a lot better. Like, with the latest episode of My Hero Academia, a lot of people cry, a lot of people felt happy and, joy and rejoiced because it's such an amazing show. You can get a lot of emotion, emotion out of it and like empathy and all this kind of stuff like it's such a great show you can easily relate to it it's just super fun super interesting to watch so that's why a lot of people most likely watch probably watch it because it's just fun characters are cool you have great story great world everything is so interesting and if you guys have not not watched my hair academia what are you doing with your life Yes, I know you're probably working, but seriously, what are you doing with your life? Go watch this, stop watching this video, and go watch My Hair Academia. It is an amazing show. You guys will love it. And it's one of the best animes, like I said. I think it's one of the greatest animes ever made. But that's just my preference. If you don't like fun animes, if you like dark, depressing animes, go ahead, stick to that. But give My Hair Academia a shot. It's super amazing. If you don't you guys don't like it tell me why in the comments tell me your opinions but seriously go watch it anyways i'll catch you guys on my next video follow my instagram and twitter because i'm mostly i keep you guys updated with what i'm doing and what costumes i'm making and all that kind of other stuff so anyways i'll see you guys on the next one you seriously need to watch my hair academy and hit that like button hit that like button because plus ultra like